Why is the camera so zoomed in? That's better. Oh, alrighty. It's time to work. Time to work. Music down. There we go. All right. X Chai. So I'm saying, if I see, tell him to get out. Tell him to piss off. Um. Right. What are we doing today? Well, I need to record and edit and upload. A devlog before the 31st or on the 31st um, so we need to sort our shit out I mean that's first on the to-do list isn't it all right well uh, so number one um feature list since last dev log two let's do a dot as well two um question mark question mark question mark Um, to what still needs doing <laughs> new list <laughs> or new to do you're gonna write three profit yeah that would that would have been the obvious one um three. Three, three, three. What, what else do we need to, to do? Well, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put three in here. Three will be the second one. Um, we need to. I was gonna do, um, item collision, or item physics collision, collision stuff which i've been putting off for ages because i just keep forgetting and then four will be um hmm what's number four Is today Monday or Sunday? It's Sunday, so it's actually a day of rest. <laughs> there we go.
Okay. Um, so we're ready to begin. I guess we begin with uh, a new text document. Woohoo. New text document. This is called Devlog Feature List since the last one. Um, do I have Notepad++? Plus Plus? I do, don't I? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Oh, that's change log for that thing. All right. Um, what is new since the last devlog? Well, uh, devlog 13 and 13.5 covered damage dealing, um, armor hit zones, rock weapons, etc. Um, so, since then, keep in mind this was like fucking months ago now. Um, what is that cat doing? Well, in, in no particular order, in no order, um, we did. Uh, physical interaction between characters and physics objects. Let's, let's do this as like number one, right? And then underneath it, we've got, um, characters dragging things around. Uh, we've got, let's just say dragging things around. Uh, we've got being damaged by pushing, well, pushing slash being blocked by movement being blocked by. Uh, we've also got vaulting on vaulting on <laughs> them. I don't fucking know. Um, what other physical interactions did we do? Oh, being damaged slash knocked around. Um... Does buoyancy count? Uh, what about like extra forces when landing on them? Cool. Um, that's not air spell forces. Um, character weight affects all this shit. Um, two, what are the other things we did? Not much. Oh, I guess buoyancy. System. Buoyancy system. The <laughs> beginning. Does beginning have two Gs? No, it's beginning. Yeah. Um, objects. Use several methods to calculate buoyancy, buoyancy, um, custom, well, it's completely custom. Um, we, it's 
custom slash additive. Additive slash passive, I guess. Um, the... What was the thing? Like custom water... What do you call it? Water friction? Water resistance? Yeah. Um, we also did... Collision... With the water... Wateriness, exactly, exactly. The viscosity. <laughs> um, Alright, other thing we did, or that we have done since the last one, huge sound slash audio overhaul. What are our points here? Meta sounds. Our pog. Um, the... Oh, shit. Well, that's kind of like... Number four is the... Surface hit... Data... Database... Giga... Function... Thing. Um... Which this should essentially go up here instead of that one. So, hit surface, database, giga, function. <laughs> what does it do? Um, everything in the game has a hit surface that defines stuff such as. Um, sounds or impact sounds and particles particles the surface hardness the um damage from surface egg uh you know Stone will cut you if you fall on it. There we go. Um, we also have damage resistances for fizz objects and for projectile penetration. Cool. Uh, what else does this system do? Um, uses a giga <laughs> function <laughs> to get the surface hit data in many diff ways. Uh, this should actually be back. Uh, Is there anything else that we doing there? Not really. I guess like weight and stuff, but that's still a part of um, yeah, so like Giga function, get the servers of hit data in many different ways. Um, from fizz map. Map. From weapon socket. Weapon attack trace socket map. Um, from material. from material contained in a map that 
lets us do different surfaces in one material using some UV magic bullshit. Sweet. Um, the big sound overhaul. What are like the main takeaways from this? Um, sound or meta sound plays to collision sounds. We change the attack. We'll call it attack filter, kind of. We'll, we'll say attack time. Um, which, yeah, that's what it actually would be, but it's like. Uh, off topic, how did you achieve the archery in one of your earlier YouTube clips? Is there a video on the subject? Um, it's a very broad question. It's like saying, how do you, how do you achieve gameplay? <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh... The old one was very hard-coded, like the very old prototype. Um, the current archery system uses our action system, action component system, called PAX, P-A-C-S, Prismatica Action Component System. It's a, it's a rival to the, the gas. It's essentially the exact same thing, but I made it because why not? <laughs> um, but, yeah, essentially what we do now is there's an action called bow, you know, bow attack, whatever the fuck it is. Um, and that action has multiple stages. And those stages have their own conditions and blah, blah, blah. So if we try and do the... Um, if we try and attack with the bow and we don't have an arrow in our hand, then the action will say, okay, uh, you know, we, we need to find an arrow in our backpack or our whatever, whatever, and, and put it in our hand. Um, then the second part of the action is to draw the bow and then once that's drawn it'll say wait for a release like button release um notifier thing and then it will if we're in the fully drawn state and we release then it will launch a projectile using our custom projectile movement component um yeah so And then there's like a bunch of exit conditions, like if we're fully drawn, but then we dodge instead of, you know, attacking, um, it will go back to the state before it where, you know, we've got the arrow in our hands. Blah, 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 blah. What got my interest was the physics and attaching them to walls. So I know the video you're talking about. Um, attaching them to walls was coincidental that was like purely physics jank that was unintentional uh it just it just did it because the projectile was moving so fast that it like lodged into the wall and that kind of thing um the the actual like putting the arrow in the characters though was um intentional yeah so the arrow was stuck in the character and then when it attaches to them we um also apply an impulse like where it attached so in that case it was a really big impulse which sent them flying when the arrow penetrated them um but then in some cases the arrow ended up like 
you know, getting stuck in the wall collision and like pinning the character to the wall. Uh, that, that will be something that we'll do properly, like actually coded in. Um, but yeah, <laughs> in that video, it was, it was just unintentional. Um, sliding slash rolling objects. Um, physics. Oh. Uh, what's another thing that we... That's part of the sound and audio. Oh, the, uh, the flesh damage sounds gross um oh the the armor slash clothes sounds when walking slash getting hit slash whatever well this is like armor clothes foley sounds and then armor slash clothes um armor slash clothes impact sounds et cetera et cetera Is that everything we've added since... Ah. New... <laughs> new... Um, combat... Animations. Which I don't think were in the... Previous one. Actually, I don't know if they were. Let me, let me actually check that. Oh, no, no, they were. Although I didn't, like... I don't know if we actually, like... Went into it deeply. Skillshare sponsorship, sweet. Okay, this was actually a very long time ago. <laughs> like four months ago. Okay, no, it didn't have the, the new animations. And the old camera angle, classic. That's it, really. Cool story. How is my channel doing? I haven't looked at it in fucking ages. Uh, that hasn't updated in ages either. <laughs> Wait, what? October 9th is the... Why isn't this graph updated? 
Can I get rid of Channelytics and then... Huh? That's weird. I like the graph. I like the, the number go up. Why my number go up? Oh, uh, also, good news. I got an email uh, at some point recently um, about a lucrative opportunity um, with my usual Skillshare sponsorship. So, if you guys haven't gotten the free trial yet, just wait a little while. Wait till this devlog comes out and then sign up for the free month of Skillshare and blah, 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 blah. Because, uh... There could be a dumb amount of money. <laughs> uh, you know? A silly amount. Well, not silly, but like, you know. It'd be, it would be very good for the, the game and the, the channel and me and blah, 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 you know? Very, very exciting. Um... So new combat animation. Well, this okay. So sound slash or oh my god, we haven't even fucking talked about the inventory yet. How much fucking shit are we gonna have to talk about? Uh, where's four? Four's up here. Four's before three, but after two, because I move them around. Uh, we also <laughs> did that in the. Uh, in the, the to-do list. <laughs> Whoops. What's the, what's the, um, what's it in Digimon World 2000? Join the city? I really want to play that again. I need to get a good um, PlayStation 1 emulator. Digimon World. Was it 2000? It was, it was the year 2000. One of the best games in the universe. Digimon World on PlayStation 1. That was a POG game. Does any does anyone I mean the stream kind of just started, but has anyone that's already here ever played Digimon World number one? It's ridiculously complex for a like a an old game. You had good game. <laughs> So this, this one was like, it was really, it was really weird, right? Because like the, the battles take place in real time. Um, like, it's not, it's not like the, the later ones where it's like, you know, turn-based, basically just Pokemon. It's like, um, like, yeah, like they actually like run around and... It's like essentially turn-based, but not really. Um, it's like purely RNG kind of, but like, yeah, it was just sick as it was. Oh fuck! I wanna, I wanna play that. I'm gonna play that on stream one day. Um, new combat animations. Wait, I, actually, I was going to see if that's what it was actually called.
Whoa, look at that frame rate. That's Pog. Okay, what's the actual phrasing? Joins the city. There we go. I got it right. Fuck yeah. Um, Cascadeur is cool. Um, what else about combat animations? There's not really that much to talk about. Um, I guess, I guess it's like stylistically what we're going for, you know? Stylistically representative of what we're representative of the final combat anims of most of, or of the uh, regular Oh yeah, I guess of the final combat anims of the base final combat anims. Obviously, we'll do a few like you know anime as fuck combat animations for like particular like bosses and shit. Uh, number six inventory. Uh, sandbox. Oh, uh, but your. Sandbox. Joins the city. <laughs> such a... Such a silly reference. Um... We have... Uh... Explain why... It's dummy... Complex. Um... Containers in containers. Containers in... Containers in containers. Oops, that needs a dash. Um, no inventory. AKA, um, your equipment is a, or your equipment can be containers. So if you're naked, you only get one um, storage slot. <laughs> Lamau. That's a joke. A joke, by the way. You don't get any. Oh, except your hands. Jay, how's it going? How how goes it? How goes it? What is that emoji? Is that <laughs> like tasty like RuneScape content creator? So any non-weapon non-weapon melee going on. Oh, you mean like uh unarmed? Like like fighting? Um not at the well there's a few animations. There's a lot of the old placeholder animations that, um, like, they're not too shit, but I just haven't gotten around to, like, yeah, implementing them properly. Um, I do need to figure out how to, how we're going to do tracing for the, the unarmed stuff. Um, I mean, I guess it'll just be its own component, like the, you know, the character body tracing component, um, because at the moment we, at the moment, all of the tracing is done from the item themselves. So the item has a component that says 
now we're tracing for damage and when you hit it here's the damage we deal and blah 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 um whereas we used to do it from the character through through the item or like using info from the item but now it's like the item itself is doing the tracing the reason we did that is because you're able to throw items and it's like once you throw an item it's no longer yours anymore um so it's like it needs to be able to handle tracing by itself because imagine we throw something and while it's in the air we pull out another weapon and start attacking and it's like okay now our component is trying to do like fucking two things at once and like it would trace between that it would just be a disaster so um yeah every item has its own tracing component and so therefore the body of the character should have you know an unarmed trace component um and then there's there's a couple of ways we could set it up which would be have one per character type so you know a, a humanoid would have um trace enum for their head for their you know each hand um you know their their legs and any other thing that you you know hit people with um and so when we put the animation notifier the animation notifier will look for the unarmed attack trace component um and you, we can change the variable on the animation itself so if it's you know punching with the left hand we select the left hand enum which will then use the you know left hand bone and maybe the elbow and the shoulder um as like trace points for the thing so yeah also meow makes stuff thank you very much for the tier one sub very very appreciated thank you very nice very nice i hope that you're having a great day I hope your day is as great as mine even though mine kind of only just started. <laughs> um, what else about the inventory? Oh, oh, there's so much shit. There's too much shit to... to talk about in this devlog thing. my arm so sore thanks for all the videos no worries at all thank you for watching them why am i out of focus oh, you know we're gonna manual no we're back in focus sweet uh follow-up question is disarming a thing yes uh not currently like not implemented but I need, I need to kind of think about um, a little bit more about the, the combat and the flow of combat. Um, I kind of want to lean it more towards how Sekiro does combat. Um, oh, no, I guess more like Mordhau than Sekiro. But... Yeah, essentially, like, like for example, if you try parrying, but you don't have enough stamina to, um, to parry successfully. So let, let's say, like, parrying is based on the disparity in weight or, like, impact between, you know, the two weapons and your, you know, parry effectiveness and your strength and what whatever the final parry stat is. Um, so someone could like come at you with a sledgehammer and you might just have a little dagger and you might not have much stamina left and so when you parry that sledgehammer with your dagger um it will it'll still parry the attack like you won't take any damage at all but you'll be disarmed like the, the dagger will go flying or um yeah that kind of thing so 
yeah, they will kind of be disarming in that sense. There might also be, like, um, uh, if, like, an opponent gets staggered. Like, like I, I kind of want to somehow do, um, like, grappling, which would be, like, a very complex system. <laughs> Um, but it, it'd essentially be grappling like you, you try a grapple attack, um, and then if the grapple is successful, then, uh, you know, then the opponent is grappled, and then you can either, you know, you, it, it, it's kind of like, um, Super Smash with the, the grab, grapple system, so... Once you've grappled them, you can, you know, hit them or throw them or, you know, you can do whatever with them uh, until they break the grapple. Um, so, but like, it would have to be, I, I don't want it to be like, um, like paired animations, right? Because like, nothing should really... N nothing in this game locks the character in place, except for like you know, in the like mid attack animation. Um, but then I'd, I'd just have to think of like, okay, how do you counter a grapple? Which would kind of be like, okay, well if you see them going for a grapple, um, if you grapple in return, then it it's like a, a grapple parry. Um, and then if, if they go for a grapple and you do like a, a parry, like a, a weapon parry, then, you know, then the grapple goes through. Um, kind of like, kind of like in fight, you know, like traditional fighting, like arcade fighting games where like, it's kind of like passive blocking, like, um, like doing nothing is sometimes better than doing something wrongly if that makes sense <laughs> like any any game with like auto auto blocking kind of does it well where it's a bit like rock paper scissors -y with like okay they're they're doing a you know a a, a mid punch um and if I just stay completely neutral, or I think in some games you like hold backwards, but if I just stay completely neutral, I'll block that attack. But if I try and do a kick or something, like when they're about to punch me, then I take full damage and that kind of shit. So maybe it would be that kind of thing. Um, Mort Mordhau and Chivalry do it with uh, kicks. So you can like kick uh, anyone. But the way that you, um, the way that you block a kick is by kicking in return and it cancels it out. So I kind of like that sort of, um, uh, it, it gives a little bit more dimensionality to the combat. Cause it's like, instead of just, you know, parry and repost and then they parry and repost and then you parry and repost, you know, you could mix it up by parrying and then grappling and then if they expected a parry then you know you're successful and you've grappled them and maybe you can you know pull out your dagger and go for a quick a quick little stab in the neck just a little just a little you know little stab in the neck if you've got a dagger on hand um plus like i think i think from a stylistic like point of view um you know like like i'm a i'm a very uh historical martial art enthusiast like grappling is especially in armored combat grappling's like one of the main tools like if you if you're fully armored like from head to toe there's like no gaps anywhere and you're versing someone that is also fully armored. You know, you're both like immune to arrows, you're immune to 
like swords and spears and all that kind of shit. Um, as soon as you get them on the ground and, you know, they're incapacitated, then you can just, you know, stab them in the neck or flip their visor up and stab them in the eyeball or whatever. So, yeah, I think grappling, I'll probably do that at some point. It's just a matter of, like, how do we... Um, how do we implement it so that it doesn't... I don't know, like... Doesn't feel clunky. Basically, if you're full armor tanks, you grapple and start undressing each other. Yeah, I mean, literally. Like, that's... That's basically how medieval combat works. Is you... You get them on the ground, and you start wrestling. And, you know, yeah, you use your dagger to cut the you know, the harnesses of their armor and just fuck them up. Just kill them. I think that would definitely add a, another dimension. Uh, it would also... It would also give shields a bit more of a weakness because, like, shields are pretty, like, dummy overpowered. Because, you know, you can block with a shield. Uh, we haven't implemented it yet, but the way shields will work is it's like an infinite parry. Uh, but you don't, like, regain stamina when you've got your shield up. Kind of like Dark Souls, I guess. Um, but then if they have their shield up and you grapple them or do, like, a shield break move and they still have their shield braced, then, you know their shield either gets, like, torn from them or they get staggered or lose balance or something like that. Um, and you basically get a free shot. Whereas if they if they just have their shield passively up, then uh, it'll still provide passive protection. So if you're just holding a shield uh, and someone hits the shield, you know, like, with their weapon or an arrow or whatever... It'll still block the damage, but it will do more... It'll take more stamina. But then if you're actively holding the shield, like, you know, holding right mouse button, then it won't take as much stamina um, if you, you know, get hit in the shield. So, yeah. But then grappling would be a good, a good counter to that. So, yeah, I, I don't know. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's something. It's something. It would take a lot of work. Plus, it would have to be different for every weapon. Like, grappling with a spear is different to grappling with a long sword or a short sword or, a, you know, dagger or just, like, completely unarmed and that kind of thing. And then it's also, like... If they're holding a spear and we grapple them, I don't know. Wouldn't blocking real, real heavy attack with a shield slowly break the armor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we could let some of the impact damage go through. Um, same with like if it's a wooden shield and an arrow penetrates the shield, then the arrow might still deal a bit of damage depending on how much of its momentum is is mitigated. Um, either directly to the arm that is, you know, bound to the shield, or, you know, even like, if it, if it makes it through the shield and hits the shoulder a little bit, then yeah, it'll, it'll do that uh, and deal damage to that area. But there might be armor there as well. And so it's like a chain of events. It's a big fucking... Yeah. Um... But yeah, for the most part, shields will block all slash and pierce damage. Unless they break. And obviously the shields can break as well. And a lot of shields were designed to break. Or at least like, um, to like, you know. Like you, you always see in like fantasy and stuff, like wooden shields with like a big metal, heavy metal rim with like rivets in it all around it. Um, that never existed. They they never line shields with metal. One, because it's 
stupid expensive, but two, because if someone attacks you and you block with the shield and their sword gets stuck in your shield, then that's super advantageous for you because, you know, if it's like lodged in there, then they can't move it. And it's like, well, shit, you know. Then you just frick them up. Um, may I have my sword back? Exactly. <laughs> um, hmm. So. Have I talked about the Prismatica action component system in a devlog? I'm pretty sure I did. In like number 13 or something. Or number 12? Actually, it would be number 12. Which was, yeah, when we did the big refactor seven months ago. <laughs> Classic. Fuck, I really slowed down on videos, didn't I? <laughs> like once every month or two. I mean, that's like at least once a month. That's not too bad. <laughs> um, right. What else? What else? What else? What else? So we need to talk about inventory, how there isn't actually an inventory inventory. Um, containers in containers. Um, oh, I guess like gameplay reasons for this complexity bracket. Um, you know, player makes choices. Slash pros slash cons. <laughs> oh, then there's the uh, the item interaction interaction action system. Hella complex action that covers. All bases. <laughs> That's kind of all about the inventory, isn't it? Uh, and then... There was something else I needed to talk about, which I'll probably talk about at the start of the video, which is um, direction of the game slash development. Because um, I, <laughs> I kind of want to do a funny clickbait title, which is like, my indie game is finally ready, like ready in capitals. Um, but then like the, the twist is that it's, it's ready to start development. Because <laughs> all the back-end systems are like, you know, done. I think that would be kind of funny, you know? It's ready to begin. I <laughs> got him. Um, systems. Driving. Design. Or system, system driven design for an open, open ended, yeah, open ended development process. <laughs> mm -hmm. Game could be anything, Lamau. 
Um, I also want to do like, uh, I also want to kind of talk about, not modding, but like, I don't know, I just want to like, m make a tool set that makes developing the game super easy, you know? So that it's like, yeah, like, you know, we can just hammer out content and shit and get like less less technically experienced people developing content for the game, you know. Kind of almost like um like a scenario editor in a way. But not like a scenario editor. Like in-house tools, but yeah. Um <laughs> Free, yeah, exactly. Free labor. Exactly, exactly. Exact. No, it's ex get paid in exposure. Hell yeah. Exposure. <laughs> um, funky systems like the physics shit allows for interesting and novel gameplay um billions of different ways to use the systems interestingly billions Egg. Egg. Um, physics. Interaction. Stuff. Could be used for puzzles. Um, traversal. Combat. Um, vehicles. Scenery. What else could you use the, the physics stuff for? Oh, like looting, breaking shit, breaking, breakable loot for ultra satisfying, uh, dark souls, rolling, roll, spam, through breakables, moments. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> dragging bodies around. Lamau. Who's that guy to help with the development? Uh, sandbox. Your, your sandbox. My sandbox? No, your, your sandbox. From, uh, from YouTube. Also makes tutorials. But yeah, he's been, he's been killing it with the, uh, the Prismatica stuff. You know, you know? You should subscribe to him if you haven't already. And join his Patreon. Mm How the fuck do I fit this into one video? Am I going to have to do like a giga video? But I've only got eight days to to do this. Uh, do we break it into multiple parts? 
I guess, I guess. We'll do 14 and 14.5 and 14.9. I don't fucking know. I also want it to be like kind of a, a higher production value one. Like I want to do like motion capture, like like I did with number 12, where I like motion captured me talking about like the devlog and then, um, uh, you know, put it on, put the motion capture data onto one of the characters and that kind of stuff. Use most caps for the combat animations. Yeah, yeah, as a uh, as a basis for them, like a the. The motion capture's kind of just there to uh, give us all of the key poses and kind of like the body mechanics as well, like the pacing, I guess. Um, but a lot of the in-between frames get, like, discarded. So it's like, yeah, w when, you, when you export motion capture data... Um, or when you export any animation, all of the frames are keyframed. But what we do is we get all of the kind of... All the, the key keyframes. And we just delete everything in between. And so we end up with essentially the exact same looking thing, but with less data. And then we just tweak those key poses and that kind of stuff. It's a lot easier to to deal with that way um and it also gets rid of that like that micro micro you know that like kind of uncanny like little jitter that you get from motion capture sometimes um it gets rid of all that obviously you don't get like the really fine nuance of like yeah but with with cascader um you know, we just do a pass with the, the physics tool assist thing, and it kind of brings all that back in. Like, all those extra tiny little body mechanics. Like, because like if, if you look at, like, how humans work, or how anything works, um, if I, like, have my hands out here, and I, like, quickly move them this way, and, like, dab, then, like, my head moves in the opposite direction, and that kind of stuff. And that's things that can be pretty easily overlooked when you're like just purely keyframing animations. So having the mocap suit like really, you know. Really helps you whip and then helps you nae nae, you know. It's hard to nae nae when you're in a desk chair, but. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll be back very shortly. I need to turn my lights on and stuff as well, so I'll, I'll be back in a couple of minutes. But um, it's expensive to buy and set up mocap. So I I have a Rococo suit, Rococo Mark One, which I got for I got it second hand. I think it was only a thousand australian dollars so that's like what 600 us dollars um and like it, it it doesn't go down in value if you buy it second hand so you know i could sell this could probably even turn a profit on it honestly but you know it's just a little a nice little investment that saves i mean you know if if, if i'm paying myself $25 an hour, then, um, how many hours is that? Like 20 hours, 40 hours. 
if it saves me 20 to 40 hours, I can't do math, then, you know, I've already recouped the cost. Not to mention, like, the quality, you know, that it, that it lends as well. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll be back very shortly. Um, yeah, see you soon. Alrighty, back to work, cowards. Uh, it's actually not bad at all. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's uh, it's more affordable than you'd think. Thank you. 
Huh? Hmm. Um, alright. Time to do some stuff, I guess. Let's go to here. We're gonna bash. Have a quick bash. <laughs> uh, what do we do? Added physics damage to characters via the physics damage sensor component. Uh, anything else? I think that was it. Since the last... Since the last doodad. I mean, that took like three streams, but... We like went back and forth a billion times. <laughs> Wait, why is physics damage sensor in ragdoll component? That's fucking whack. That's wacky. All right. Uh, I should get one, but at the moment I'm fishing for a new GPU. True, true. That's fair. Oh, let me have a look, Jay. What do we have? Nice. Very retro. Very retro. I like the uh, the grunge. Pixelated grunge. Very poggy. Right, what was going on last time? We... Oh, yeah, we were doing this. Can I, like, yeah, there we go. <laughs> huh. Huh. Oh, shit. Um, well, oh, fuck! Why? So, the object in the scene that you hit doesn't have physical material that is in the hit map to surface data hit map, also doesn't have a material that's in our. Uh, material instance to surface data hitmap. Please change the information question is. Okay. Now, is that happening because... <sighs> Alright, let's... Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. RuneScape 4 is looking good. Thanks. <laughs> oh, so it's when they're in ragdoll state. That makes sense. Well, actually, in our Giga... Giga Chad deal damage. So we go to library. <laughs> Giga deal damage. We're already in there. So, deal damage, blah, blah, blah. Um, does the component implement interface? It shouldn't. Does the actor have a damage handler? <clears throat> uh, it should. There we go. So, the hit result is the hit result. The incoming surface hit data is the surface hit data of the crate, in this case. So then why is it trying to... Because this should be... Well, we can do this. Um... <laughs> huh. So that isn't going through here. 
Is that going through here for some reason? Or can you not do breakpoints inside a, a global function library? We on physics stuff again today? Uh, kind of, kind of. Just doing a little bit of tidy up and then moving on. <laughs> okay, so maybe the physics sensor. Well, no, it's actually, it's not the physics sensor, is it? Uh, well, it is at first, but then I think we're getting the issue because of the physics object handler, uh, which is dealing damage from here. So it's calculating outgoing damage, giga deal damage. The hit is the hit. And then... Hmm. Because, <laughs> like, it should say... Where's this ha where is it dealing damage to the to the mesh? Also, let's just actually no, we'll keep them all there. <laughs> Cause like in theory, right? Um we want the let's just make a duplicate of this really small <laughs> okay no oh wait no that's just because of the handler Or does it? Hold on. Is... Mm, let's take off the... Um... The thing. You know, the thing. The thing with the stuff. Wait, physics damage... Oh, there's a physics damage sensor, which... Oh, is it because... Oh, I know what it is. It's ragdolls dealing damage to... These dudes. So if I just said, like, don't... Just disable this... Well, it's impossible because... Uh, oh, we could just tell it to ignore if the hit component uh, equals or get class. Let's just say if it's a scaly mesh component, then ignore it for now. Scaly mesh false. Yeah, so now we shouldn't get that big spam of strings, in theory. That is, if that is what the issue was. Don't do what Donnie don't does. <laughs> Die. <laughs> nope. Where is this happening? <laughs> And where does...
where does that come from? And where does it go? <laughs> Object in the scene that you hit doesn't have a physical material, blah, 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 blah. So that would have to be coming from the physics object handler. On the deal damage from hit. On the giga, uh... Giga deal damage. No. Well, yeah, it would be here, but then... Does this have a print string? It doesn't. So it's not that. I'm so lost. I feel like it's like old logic somewhere that I've like now changed, but... Also, I need to focus... Pass the microphone. There we go. Nice. Is it the damage handler? It wouldn't be the damage handler. It doesn't do prints. Where is it coming from? <laughs> Someone tell me. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's so loud. Sorry if that's too loud. Well, okay, if I just look up dickhead, which is the key word in that... Um, in that thing. So, window, find results. Dickhead. Find in all blueprints. It's in the hit data... Giga hit data from hit. Right. So, where is this being... Used? I mean, this only gets used... Giga surface hit data from hit. Doesn't get called in... Well, actually, no, it gets called in the deal damage. Because we need to return a... Hit data. Actually, what if we do this, then? Is it... Oh, wait, hold on. Is it because the actor itself doesn't implement damage? Hmm. Australian game dev be like? Exactly. Oops. Shit. Oh! Okay. I just want to know where it's getting called from. So this is in the... What's this again? Deal damage. Um... So in surface data from hit. I mean, like, it isn't a... It isn't a, an error. It's just that... Where is this getting called that it shouldn't be. You know? Because we should be able to get the... You know, if it doesn't find it in our map, then does it find it in our physical material to hit surface map? If it doesn't, then return default. Um... Maybe check a stack trace node on the end of the print string. That's not a bad idea. Do I need to break on that or after that? Because I only want it to do it like the first time it does it. 
Also, I have no idea how this works, but... Oh, fuck. Okay, well, no, let's just... Oh, wait, no, it did, it did happen. Okay. It's gonna spam the log? Yeah. This log? No. Well, I can see errors happening here. Um, which I forgot to look at before, but... Yeah, so output log here. Uh, all the old divide by zeros because of that fucking thing in the... In the... What's it called? And in BP. Do you, d does anyone else ever get this? This divide by zero, divide vector float? I know why it happens, but... It shouldn't. <laughs> ah, fuck. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. I think I know where this is happening. And I just want to go to the humanoid anim BP. Because I'm pretty sure Excuse me. Update Oh the tick stuff. Um Yeah, these are Oh, wait, what's the default? Alright, the default is zero. Let's just put the default at one, one, one. And that's one and one by default. Wait, hold on. Current acceleration, where's that coming from? Are we setting that on doodad? No. Right, because we do that here. What's true acceleration? Is this our... Ah, oh, fuck my life. Let me bother. Where is this getting... Does our acceleration stuff even work at the moment? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> well, that's why. Um, can we do property access... From in here? Yeah. Living bean. Um. True. Fucking. Living bean. It's a variable. Hold. <sighs> Current. True acceleration. Mm-hmm. 
Well, that's current velocity. What the fuck? Like this. Bam. 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 A bam. I wonder if this works now. Yes, it does. Wait, does it? No, it doesn't. I mean, it does, but it doesn't. What's the fucking... Going in circles here. <laughs> Living Bean. Hello. Where on earth are we calculating the... True acceleration is... The actual acceleration, which we do want to do the leaning stuff. But then... Is that true velocity? No, that's movement velocity. Oh no, that's that's correct, yeah. Let's just get rid of this guy. Alright, we're going down a rabbit hole. You know that is reaching near one. So what's this axis? This is the Y axis, isn't it? No, it's the X axis. So that does go to one, but then when we stop. Oh well, wow. Wait, why does it continue to if I'm at max acceleration... Oh, yeah, it should be zero. Yeah. Where's our... And why the fuck do we keep... Eh? Where... How did I break this?
current velocity, previous location, which we don't use anymore, but that's fine. Um, current acceleration, previous velocity gets set after. Oh wait, hold on. Oh no, yeah, that gets set as previous. Then that is fine. Um. Yeah, that doesn't... Oh, it's because the fucking... I was doing something weird down here. Remember that? So that we were never inactive with our movement stuff. But that shouldn't be interfering at that much. Yeah, okay, so... Acceleration, positive 512. Deceleration, blah, 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 blah. So where's our deceleration? Why isn't our deceleration very big? Well, it is, but like... Where's our additive? Huh? Punk? Punk? So that does work. That's great. So then why in here... Does our acceleration lean X, Y? True, true acceleration. Current velocity. Dotted. Less than or blah, 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 blah. Oh, are these getting set? On begin play? On play begin? Yes. Right. Yeah, so for some reason the deceleration isn't doing. Doering. I mean, like, yeah, it is working. It's just the deceleration doesn't work for some reason, which means that the dot product ah oh. fucking duh normalize that shit, bruh dumbass Would that be why? I wonder. By Wakanda. No. That doesn't help at all, in fact. Ow. So why is it when we slow down, it doesn't decelerate us? I mean, obviously our, de our acceleration is going negative and shit, but like, fucks up with that. What the fuck? 
Is it something in the movement component that I've, like, fucked up somehow? Deceleration. They're all good. Is it, like, friction? No, because we can see the value. There's something wrong with the math. I'm guessing it is... This isn't getting set somehow. So we just like go to the print string. Uh, I wanted to. Excuse me? Anim update. Blah, 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 blah. Can you not break point in an anim BP? <sighs> Fuck it, let's just... <laughs> right, 512, cool. Deceleration. Should be 256. It's zero! Ah! Well, that would explain it. Max braking deceleration. Where are you getting set? Get max braking deceleration from character movement component. Can we have to have no... Ah, oh, true, true, true. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, max braking deceleration. It's the same one, yeah. Breakpoints in Blueprinter. Yeah, they're a little bit sketch. <laughs> Breaking. Breaking deceleration walking. Max. Breaking? That's not even a fucking thing. Is that just a dead node now? Breaking deceleration walking. Or maybe it's just different in our player character for some reason. Player character. I love debugging. Like, unironically. It's like, uh... Okay, so what if we just get... Breaking... Deceleration walking. Like, what is that? It's this. Yeah, I feel like this is a dead node. Like, de de deprecated. It's depreciated. And then max acceleration. I mean, that is still returning a number. At least. So now, if we do this, that will, yeah, give us an actual number. When we stop. We lean backwards. There we go. Oop. Cool. But then we have to like... Okay, that was a... Whew, that was a fun little one. That was fun. Let's do that again. <laughs> Let's put that back to... What was it? Like four before? That can... No! Can I get a fat F in the chat? Nah, it's fine. It happens. The, uh, the Anim BP is so... Um temperamental. Although I think it's because of Kawaii physics. Like, it's a very outdated plug-in. <laughs> um, I might even, like, I might even replace Kawaii physics with a custom, like, jiggle physics that I'll make in, like, control rig or some shit. Wait, no, that's armor actor. I want the... There we go. 
All right, down here. Kill all the things. Kill all the stuff. The Verlay node in control. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's actually what I was thinking. Well, I don't know if that's exactly what I'm thinking, but like something like that. Um, mainly because control rig can take in inputs, you know? Like, um, for example, like, okay, so, so using Kawai physics or using like any typical NMBP node, you have to define the bone beforehand. Um, whereas like with control rig, you can just be like, okay, input a bone name or I think even like an array of bone names. So like we could say, okay, let's put jiggle physics on only things that are relevant so that we're not wasting juice, you know, like simulating hair all the time when our character's bald or, you know, not simulating the, the skirt and dress bones when the character's not wearing anything that has jiggle physics on it. Um, or, you know, if our character has small ears, don't do the ear jiggle physics. That kind of stuff. <laughs> okay, so back to the uh, back to the task at hand. Making boobers, exactly, exactly. Uh, it was the physics object handler component that was triggering this big, this big fuckization. Um, and I think I actually now do actually know where it is actually. It would be in the sliding check uh, where we do a box trace for objects. We get the, you guessed it, giga surface hit data from hit. Um, and because we're hitting people, then it isn't, what's it called? It's not finding anything. Um, so, yeah, that would be it. Because the, the, the sliding sounds don't deal damage. And so therefore, because when we deal damage, um, if it's a, a living bean, that, you know, we, we can get, you know, what clothing it's wearing at this position, you know, deal the damage, even if it's zero damage, and then get the, get the surface as an output from that. Um, but this is like, yeah, they're not in there. So I'm going to make the default here, again, leather. Um, but it just means, yeah, like, oh, um, maybe I'll just do a, uh, just another little check just to see if, so we have hit result. Get hit result. No, get hit result. Local variable. Break. If. Hit actor, cast to living bean. And we'll just say, if it's a living bean, don't, uh, don't do the thing. Don't, don't do the print string. And that's it. <laughs> so that should get rid of that error. Which, like, I mean, technically it is an error, but, like, yeah. Oh. So there we go. That fixes that. I mean, okay, like, it shouldn't have... I'm pretty sure the physics asset has... Ah. Okay, well, I could just, in Living Bean, 
go to mesh. Physical material override. Leather. Oh no, I don't have a leather fizz material, do I? Um, you can be, I don't know, wood. Default physical material? I don't fucking know. Well, I mean, none... None is in the... Ah, uh, yeah, fuck it. I'll just make them made of dirt. Kind of makes sense. Okay. Because, yeah, the reason that was happening is when we... Ow. <laughs> when we have things... Excuse me? Oh, I think I unhooked it, didn't I? Oh, no. It's kind of hard to hear, but... Ow. Can you hear the sliding sound? Maybe not. Okay, well, let me just go back to that. Did I disable something in the physics... Object handler. When we make the sliding sound, we attach it to the component. Uh, snap to target, stop when attached to destroyed, yeah. Can I just make you louder? Natural attenuation. That should be off, yeah. And the other thing I want to check is when we... Hit something, calculate the hit force from the impulse. Ah, that's why. Do I ever use that again? I don't think we do. I think we can literally just put that into there. Not record that. Because, yeah, now we're not doing the... That kind of hacky workaround thing. So, incoming impulse, if we... Find references, no references found, delete, delete this. Um, previous linear velocity, previous angular velocity, we don't do anymore. Damage cooldowns, we do, we do do. We do to do, do. Threshold without mass, we keep, yep. Um... Yeah. Of course, with mass of this hit, we do set hit result this hit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Okay. Okay, well, there's like the, the sliding slash rolling sound. Or if we were like. Why does that, uh, hold on, let's go to the sliding check. If, uh, oh, oh, oh no, no, that should be fine, yeah, because that should then stop the sound. Um, here it is. If we don't hit anything, fade the fucking sound out. That was real confusing. Also, the other thing is, um, this here... Oh no, so we do we do subtract the... The other thing. Yeah. <laughs> I 
So if it's on top of something that is moving, but they're moving together, then it doesn't produce any sound. All right, can I tip this over? Come on. Huh? There we go. Ugh. Yeah, so now... Wait, can I drop a box on that child? Can I, like, just kick it off? Oops. What about these ones? <laughs> nice. <laughs> ah, shit. Can we do this? Oh, not that. Okay, I need to somehow figure out how to prevent that from happening. But can we do this? Ready? Or like uh, this? Ow. <laughs> nice. Oh, god damn. So dumb. <laughs> Dumbest shit ever. Cool. Um, so we fi we fixed some bugs. We did the thing. Something something. Profit something something. Uh, what do we? What what's next? What did I put in my to do list? Uh, feature list is since bleh, last devlog. Yes, we did that. Oh, item physics collision. Right, 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 right. Uh, so physics object handler. Um, this is all well and good, but wait, do we do a self? Oh, no, because we set that at the start, don't we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Um, okay, so we need to... So this is for physics objects. So we need to make a child version of this that uh, does it on... What's it called? like items like weapons and and you know things that we can pick up and that kind of shit um so it's the same thing here do this calculate hit force we would use the force without mass because we don't really care about the weight of weapons and stuff because uh, they have their own kind of damage dealing things this here we don't actually use anymore. That's why I've got it unplugged, obviously. Um, because we have the the deal damage from hit, which then does the particles and sounds from the giga deal damage node, and calculate outgoing damage. Blah 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 blah. Um, and this does so if it was a weapon. And we know the incoming hit surface data. We know the damage, blah, blah, blah. And it hit scenery. Then it would say, okay, well, it doesn't implement the thing. So we're going to use this instead. And then, yeah, that would be the the doodad. Um, okay. Mm hmm <laughs> So then what was this even doing? Oh, it was literally just that. So we can probably kill it. Fuck yeah. Well, play sounds from hit. Da da da. Sounds and particles from hit, we don't need. So we do that from the damage component now. Because obviously if something hits something, then it's going to deal damage to it. You know? Uh... <laughs> 20 hot men, thank you very much for following. Very appreciated. 
Where are the boobers? Uh, uh, I guess here. There's some booba. Can I, like, turn around? There you go. I mean, it's man booba, but... Hold on. Push the fucking. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> now that was interesting. Oh, I know why that happened. That's because the uh, sensor component doesn't turn off. Cool. Um, so this cooldown we don't need. This doesn't need to exist. That doesn't need to exist. This doesn't need to exist. Um, oh, I mean, hmm. Yeah, no, fuck it. We, we should just use the giga, the giga function. <laughs> uh, do we have a cooldown variable damage? Oh no, damage cooldown time. Or well, damage cooldown length. Let's call this damage cooldown length. This will be 0.2 by default. Yep, okay, so I think this is set up and ready to override. Uh, I guess the only other thing is with the sliding check, um, We calculate the bounds anyway. Let me let me draw this as well. Draw a debug type for duration. <laughs> so if I like tip this shit over, oh, then you can see how this actually works. We do a a box trace. Now. <laughs> Ow. Like, who would have thought that shifting crates around would be so painful? <laughs> Can I grab that and just like yeet it up that way? Yeah. Nice. Direct the damage to lower back. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Well, I mean, that kind of, that issue wouldn't be as apparent if we were using two hands for these, would it? I just want to kill this dude. Have you guys ever just wanted to kill a dude? <laughs> nice. Um, <clears throat> 20 hot men, thank you for patting the cat, but the cats aren't inside at the moment, so we'll have to wait on that one. Uh, what were we, what were we doing? Owner surface hit data in the object handler component. So how can we get... How can we get a fizz material from something... You know how meshes can have a... Physical material override. And materials can as well. You can't actually get the... The mesh override one. 
So like if we go to static mesh sphere and we go to fizz map simple collision physical material, I guess. Is that it? Because we measure that density friction, blah blah blah. Maybe that's it. Maybe they changed it actually. Um but I know that like the material itself can have a physical material override or physical material, right? Which if I just set this now, then yeah, it'll it'll work. Because we can Oh fuck. Oh, that's why the sound was so funny. Because it wasn't it didn't know. Okay. Because it wasn't. It was using the stone or the something sliding sound. But yeah, now it's got the wood sliding sound. Um. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm? Well, I mean, I can probably turn that down now, you know? Physics handler thing. Because I boosted that up to what, like... Five times <laughs> volume? <laughs> Compile. What? Damage cooldown length. What do you mean? It's literally right there. What the heck are you talking about? Hmm. Um, I'll be back in one sec. I can just hear the cat wanting to come in. All right, we're back. Hi, welcome back. Okay, core physics stuff. Uh, we're gonna call this the physics. I don't know, physics body. Also, this physics giga component isn't real anymore. This was a very 
prototypical. <laughs> As you can tell. Very prototypical. Um, so let's just kill that. Uh, yeah, we'll delete it. Yep, there we go. Okay, so... We are going to make a child blueprint of this called uh, Physics Item. It should be Item Physics. Item Physics Handler. This should be Physics Handler. Um, just Physics Handler. Wait, hold on. Just... Yeah. Following assets are referenced by one or more class default objects. Uh, physics object handler component, soft reference. Can you with rename you require uh, changes? To fix references in code or project settings, assets, otherwise... Well, yeah, fuck it, just go. Just do it. Priz, physics handler. Well, it's... <laughs> it's a physics body handler. Physics body handler. I mean, what what's a handler anyway? It's yeah, anyway. Um. So this item physics handler, how is it different to the the other one? Well, <laughs> I'm glad that you um glad that you asked. We are going to override... What are we going to override? So deal damage from hit does the cooldown shit. Is anything in the cooldown, blah, blah, blah. Calculate outgoing damage. Um... Oh, actually, calculate outgoing damage could... be a part of get owner hit surface data because get owner hit surface data is going to require getting the nearest weapon socket doodad uh, which means Should this even be the function? I feel like this should be its own function. Well, it doesn't need to be. We can just override this. Calculate outgoing damage. Yeah, you know, let's let's add uh, an extra thing here called the outgoing 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 surface hit data. Uh, which will be a surface hit data type. Surface hit data asset, blah, 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 blah. Um, by default, force without mass this hit. Hey, what was our, what was our damage? Calculations for the damage sensor, because that should be the same. Sensor. Uh, let's see. Um. Here we go. Damage from collision. Oh wait, is this a? This is a. No, this isn't Giga. This is just in here. Um, she. So what's the actual... Because this is like how we approximate it. Oh, and that also needs to go. But maybe not that. There we go. Uh, what, what is the... <laughs> the thing? This is the... Momentum scaling divisor. Is... Uh, 
All right, we had two things, which was just the velocity and the actual momentum. Uh, which is this and this. Well, not that actually. And then we, what, just multiply them by one another? Oh, yeah, right. So this is, yeah, yeah gotcha, gotcha. So physics body handler, calculate outgoing damage. Um, this will be velocity threshold subtractor was what like was it 200 no it was 100 what was it hold on sensor back 100 so anything under 100 velocity so that would be force without mass that's our velocity so this minus that divided by i think it was a thousand 500 And then the force with mass divided by thousand, uh, and then this mul oh well. Do we clamp it first? Apparently not. No, we just max it at zero. Why do we minus one? Ah, oh, because it yeah okay no that makes sense just to give it another threshold. See that? Times that. Minus one. Max zero. That is our outgoing impact damage. Oh, fuck. And then our outgoing surface hit data by default will just be the get surface hit data. Get surface hit data. Get owner surface hit data. Wasn't that a function, though? Because that gets set, but then we can get it. Ah, uh, you know what? It's fine. Fuck it. So then, in the deal damage from blah 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 blah, this goes into the... Here, surface hit data 1. That goes nowhere. That goes into... Wait, deal damage. Oh, right, no, that also goes into here. Sweet. And then owner is the owner of this component. That's the instigator. And the hit is the hit. Additional knockback. We don't really fucking care. Uh, and then final damage output should be, in theory, impact damage divided by five clamped float zero to one into there instead of that Is it robotic head or robotichide? Hello, hello. I'm doing pretty good. Having a lot of fun lately, which is, you know, which is nice. <laughs> Who has fun developing games, coward? Uh, this really annoys me, so I'm going to put this down here. Yeah. Is you're not working doing life? Exactly, exactly. It's good. It's the life. It is a life indeed. It's one of those. 
All right, cool. So now all we need to do is override the calculate outgoing damage for our weapon item component thing. Um, then that will deal damage using the outgoing fizz damage to whatever it hits. And then surface on surface collision particles and sounds. It will keep all of the cooldown stuff. And the sliding check should be fine because... Yeah, 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 yeah. This doesn't need anything else. Okay, so item, item physics handler, function override, uh, calculate outgoing damage. There we go. Oh, wait. Okay, there's one more thing, which is in our physics body handler, when we calculate mesh info for box trace, uh, we need to do another check. Is it a scaly mesh? And then get imported bounds. This is something that Akudo was doing. Multiplied by the scale of the thing. Uh, that returns there. If it failed, then I don't know what the fuck it could be. Um, center of mass of the bone, the boneless name, and then the rotation. Oh, yeah, current world rotation. Well, oh, no, that's of the mesh. Yeah, 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 yeah that makes sense. Plus something. Plus nothing. That's the half size return value box extent. Turn value origin would probably be the center of mass. Maybe we could get away with that. Hmm. Let's try that. So if we go to the sliding check, then... Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. I also need a, another, like, just a branch here that can branch if we don't want it to do a box trace, if we want it to just do, like, a downward line trace or something for, like, a, a rag doll, for example. We'd probably just want to trace from the pelvis to see if they're sliding around and shit rather than... You know, a whole box trace. Or like a, a sphere, like a ball would be a... Probably do a sphere trace, wouldn't we? Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Uh, anyway, then it does all of the stuff. Why do I get the mass again? Oh, like the weight of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So lighter things don't. Mm hmm. Slide meter sound, volume. Do that. Volume of our self sliding hardness. Okay. So now it's time to do this. Oh, calculate outgoing damage. We don't want to do the parent one at all. Um, we need to... So this is for an item. 
on begin play, we need to get owner. We need to cast to item actor. And then save that bad boy. Save that reference. Promote to variable as priz item actor. Why not? Oh, let's call it owning item actor. Owning item actor. Calculate outgoing damage. Owning item actor. Calculate outgoing damage. We don't fucking... Where are the inputs to this? Calculate outgoing damage. What the fuck? Where are you? Right, there are no inputs. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Because we already have the force and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Deal damage from hit. Calculate outgoing damage. This... Let's do it like... Uh, this. And this. So this is... Force without mass. This hit. This is... Force with mass, this hit. Sweet. We can yeet... Well, actually, let's just move them back to go here. Uh, the other thing we want to do is probably pass in the hit result. Duh. New thing. Hit. Result. Uh, hit. Result. Struck. There we go. Which we don't need here. But we'll use it in the other one. So this now goes here. Uh, here. That goes in there. This goes in there. Um, so we want to use force without mass for these items and shit. So physics item, blah, 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 blah. We're going to get the force without mass. Subtract 100. Oh, maybe not even a 100. If a sword is like, hmm. Anyway, um, break, hit result, we need the impact point, get the owning item actor, we're going to get socket, get trace, attack trace component, we're going to get trace, what the fuck's it called, it's something by location, no, by get Socket, get, uh, trace point, get point, calculate, what the fuck did I call it? Where is it? Or is it on the item object? Fuck, everything's in weird places. Uh, point, calculate. Alright, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna dive deep. Item actor. Item actor. Do you have a function? I bet you it's like nearest something something something. Get item hit surface. Nearest location in array. Oh, this is by trace type. But can we get... I mean, yeah, like, we want this, but... Alright, so if that's none, then we're going to do it by location. Uh, 
Oh, which returns us a trace type. And also the surface hit data. Okay, so this should be... <laughs> uh, get... Oh, fuck. I mean, this function here... <laughs> should be its own function. Which should be get... Get trace... Get nearest trace socket type by location right or we just rename this get item hmm yeah no fuck it we're gonna we're gonna do this uh, a nice way so Let's get this shit here. Bam. We're going to just copy this new function in item actor called get trace socket by location. Or get nearest trace socket. Get nearest trace socket by location. This will first make sure we've got a fucking attack trace component don't know why we wouldn't this will be the um a component by class self yeah uh if that's valid continue get the item attack trace array go through each of them and local variable add them create local variable socket locations yep yeah. And then use this one, get nearest location in array, which is in our function library. Um, this would be the, uh, fuck, the, the hit location or the, yeah, just the location. Location in world space. World per se, world space. Yeet. And then we are... How the fuck did this work again? Item actor. Uh, on quantity update. On item embedded. On item. Oh, no, that was it. Get item hit something, something, something. Get item hit surface. So this then... Oh, right. The array index output get it from this, break that, get the type. Also, does this use squared? It does. Nice, 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 nice. I like that. Nice and efficient. So let's go to get nearest trace socket by location. Does this, gets it from the thing, this is our output, so return node, bam, this is trace type, or trace socket type, I guess, trace socket, or trace point, trace socket, I don't know, I don't know. Um, let's also just return the name as well, why not? That's, that's fine. Cool. So that should all work. Um, get nearest trace socket by location. Outputs uh, enum thingo. Then the item hit surface thing no longer needs this because it can just do this. So get item hit surface by socket or by trace type by yeah. Well wait, this is literally just look it up in the fucking thing. Although if it doesn't find it, use the default. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Get 
item hit surface by trace type. And then we don't need the by location variable anymore. Uh, we also want to, if that's none for some reason, wait, if that not equal to none, true, if it, if that's false, then let's do the default, the default uh, surface hit data, blah, 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 rather than the complex, and then the trace type. Uh, why is that even an output? that's not changing anymore yeah we don't need that so you can fuck off and the modifier is well because not all items are made of thingos are they <laughs> We'll figure that out later. That's like down the line when we've got like, you know, multiple different metals and they all have different colored sparks or they have different like pitches, like pitch modifiers for the sounds and shit. We won't worry about that now. So let's go back to our item physics handler. We have the thing. We have the item actor. We have the get trace surface by trace type no we have the get trace type get socket fuck what did i call it get socket type what the fuck did i call this thing <laughs> item actor get nearest trace socket by location okay what should i call it item hit surface by trace type get get trace type by socket no by nearest location yeah so then it's just this uh trace type by nearest location that can be pure you are now pure function, because why not? All right, what? I said pure. Here. And then, hey, nice. Okay, so location, world space, impact point. And then trace socket type into this one. And then surface hit data into this one. And then how do we deal damage from the physics-y shit? Well, I mean, it's this. Uh... Does this have a damage out, determine outgoing damage from the attack trace component? Okay. And then we also need to calculate, we need to, what is it? Swing, swing or thrust, question mark. Direction of trace is, oh fuck, what is the, the direction of the well that would be the impulse wouldn't it actually i wonder if uh, let's just do zero for now so that would be hit type um trace point type is this actually let's save this as a local Where's our input? What the fuck's going on here? Do this. <laughs> First get the trace type. And then trace type 
go here. What the fuck? Here. And that goes in here. And then swing or thrust goes in here. Damage multiplier is... What's the damage multiplier? Ah, oh, right, the, um... The... This shit. Though we should probably clamp that at 0 to 1. Because, like, if a spear falls on your head, then it's not going to deal as much damage as though someone stabbed you with it, with, like, you know, actually putting force behind it. So, yeah, we'll clamp it at 1. Final dealt damage, outgoing physical damage, knockback we won't worry about. That can just be determined by the impact damage. Swing off thrust. Da -da -da. Sweet. That can go here. God, I'm so fucking tired. You can dig here. You are... Yep, item hit surface by trace type. Let's put you up here. Maybe, uh, yeah, here. And then we can just, like, yeet this around here. Nice. Make it symmetrical. Nice. <laughs> That should be in like this. Cool. Um, so the only thing we need to figure out is the direction of the trace. Let's just put that at one for now. But is that already normalized? Dot. It should be normalized, yeah. And with the up vector of the mesh. Makes sense. Hopefully this all works. So this is our... What was this again? Item physics handler. So, if we now... Get a sword... Oh wait, no, we have to give it a... Modular weapon actor, let's just give you a fucking... Item physics handler thing. Physics... Item... Handler, item physics handler. So it should just populate itself and just work, you know? So if we now get a sword. <laughs> ah, fuck. Get a sword. Uh, we need to enable mouse trace on this. Where's the collision setting, bruh? Excuse me? Collision presets. Custom. Mouse trace. Overlap. <laughs> Sweet. Wait, is that... Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. So. Interesting. <laughs> uh... Okay. Is that an error? Physical interaction component, item interaction. No, that's fine. So why is it not? Let me kill this guy as well. So item physics thing. 
Uh, right, let's just make sure that stuff works, basically. Well, actually, we can do it from the physics body handler, as long as we don't have... Okay, you know what, we're gonna get rid of everything. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, we're gonna get rid of everything, everything. Well, actually, only the ones with components. Just for the time being. Cool. Oops. There we go. Kill. So, we now go to our... Whatever. This is derived from, and we... Breakpoint. Here. Um, set mesh... Target mesh reference. Get owner. Get component by class. Primitive component. Oh, that might be what's going wrong. Which means we need to go to our item physics thing. We need to override set target mesh reference. <clears throat> we need to get uh, owning item actor. Uh, we don't want to call super on that. We want to get the mesh, get the item mesh, and set that as the components owning mesh. Bam. Schwam. Oh wait, that's going to get called on begin play, isn't it? What else gets called on begin play here? Set target mesh reference. Oh no, that should be fine, yeah. We don't want to... Yeah, you know what? As long as... So, is there a way that we can guarantee that this happens after... the... the doodad? We, yeah, we need to just make sure that that... Let's do a breakpoint there. Um, and then breakpoint here, we don't need anymore. So, we do this. We make a new thing. It says, owning mesh is... Not in scope. Owning item actor, not in scope. <laughs> oh, be... Uh, <laughs> because... Wait, no, that is fine. No, it isn't, because, yeah. Oh, we can just move begin play to after this. Fantastic. Also, what's this new var 2? What's it even? Components. New var 2. Primitive something something. Not a new sliding meta sound. We do keep owning mesh. We do keep him. Okay, so now that we've moved that to after, then we should... It should be in scope when we do it now. Owning mesh is... Scattle mesh class... Component... Yeah, cool. Okay. So now it knows what mesh we're dealing with. Oh. See that? It's kind of cool. Uh, there's someone in my house. Let me... I'll be back in one sec. Uh, run an ad break.
I'm back. Um, there's no one in the house, but one of my doors is broken. Like, it won't shut, so. You know. You know. Um, right, let's go to... What are we doing again? Oh, this. Well, I mean, technically that's correct because, yeah, the pommel is made of metal. Um, also, do these... I don't think we have a metal sliding sound. Where's our sliding sounds? I guess we will find out. <laughs> uh, let me just go to... Pommel. Pommel, pommel, pommel. I think this is the one we're using at the... Oh, that's just the model. What the fuck? Something data? Handle data? Oh, wait, how do I even determine these things? Is it in like long sword static data? Long sword static data. Default surface hit data, metal sword data. Yeah. Trace type to material class. There it is. So the one. Oh, trace type to surface hit data. Point top handle. Do I... How many of these do I have now? Point bottom. It's a material... Yeah. Oh, and then wood, metal, metal. Primary point top. Yeah, that makes sense, but what's really going on here? Let's go sword skeleton. Long sword default skeleton. We've got the handle trace there. Primary five. Four, three, two, one, zero. Handle. Uh, point top is up there. Okay, so... It should be saying this is the handle, but it's not. It's getting the default for some reason. So... When we... So, like, yeah, let's say we, like, spawn a sword. We'd expect that to not do sparks. Right? Um, because the bottom should be saying wood, you know? So let's go to the item, fucky, fucky, something, something. Tiwi, thank you very much for that eight months prime sub. Very approximated. Day of rest, what is that? Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, we might play some, like, Noita or something fun at some point. Okay, later, going damage. Get item hit surface by trace type. So let's break here. Bam. And when we do this, bam, uh, outgoing damage is just one. That's kind of fucked. Service hit data, metal sword hit data. So that's probably because this is doing the fucking thing. And it's saying that the nearest point is the point top, which is 
Absolutely not correct. <laughs> uh, is this... Oh... Impact point isn't a real thing. It's... Location should be the thing. Okay, now it should be wood. Right? Now it's saying... Nope, point top. Location is zero. So where the fuck is this coming in from, bruh? Deal damage from doodad. Ah. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder why the location's invalid. Who would have thunk it? What was this one? Handle. Sweet. Location. Valid. Handle. Uh, trace type handle output is metal sword hit. Oh, that's because it's the um, the fucking axe, which I haven't set up. Or an axe. Or a, a top heavy is what we call them. Okay, there we go. So that is wood. Sweet. So now, if it lands on the handle. As a, as a, you know, an example. Then it will only dust puff. But then the tip will... Yeah. So in theory... If we had a character... Uh... Test... Combatant... Bella, hello... Greeting... Uh, we need to set up a contraption that will pour weapons onto their head. We could just do this. It's simple enough. So if I do this... Oh no, it's a really small person. Don't get shitty at me, jeez. It's not my fault that you're standing there. Oop, tall boy. Shit. Alright, well this has to be more... Steeper? Steeperer? You good? Sweet. <laughs> Alright, so obviously that threshold is too... extreme. <laughs> Ow! 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 What the fuck? Do we not have a velocity threshold on that? Oh, we don't, because it's the fucking impulse, which is the two way velocity thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, the other thing I want to figure out is, in the calculate outgoing damage thing, let's do a breakpoint again. I just want to know if this trace start, trace end, or normal returns anything relevant. So they're invalid. Um... Impact normally is straight up. That's what we'd expect, yeah. But is that because... Because that's not the direction of it, is it? That's just the normal of the thing that it hit. Yeah. 
So how can we get its... Its velocity, like the direction that it was going when it hit? Because the impulse isn't going to be any help either. Is the uh, velocity... So, owning fucking mesh. Get component velocity. Uh, if we just like, I don't know. Well, let's do set as a local. I don't know. Just so we get a, a print, a bleh, break result. So we want to know, is this going fast? So I think that's after the hit. Because yeah, it's saying negative 266, but it's also like... Yeah, going in that direction. How can we get the velocity at the time of hit? I mean, does that even matter? Yeah, no, the direction that it's traveling. Um, hmm. Is there anything else we can get from the hit result shit? Well, I mean, technically, if we were... No, because we can already just get component velocity, can't we? I mean, like, if we were doing something dumb... Well, no, because there's no guarantee that the tick would happen first, or if the other stuff would happen first. Unless we obviously set the tick to be post-physics. Because then we could say... In the post-physics update, set current velocity as previous velocity. Then it would do all the physics shit and we could use the previous velocity. I wonder if we can just... Is there anything else? Physics linear velocity, angular velocity... Add velocity... How can we get the direction that it's traveling? I mean, I, I mean... Is it a big deal to... Every frame set every... Set a variable for the previous velocity? I mean, it's not really. It should be fine. Oh no, but we use tick for other shit though. This is a tough one. How can we know whether, like, what direction the thing was moving in before the hit happened? I mean, we could just, just fucking, we could just do it anyway, fuck it. Maybe the impulse would be fine. Because if the... Hmm. Also, we need to set the impulse. I realized we didn't. Write the variable impulse this frame. Or impulse this hit. Impule this hit. 
What if we go debug line? Get the impulse this hit. Uh, get the hit point. That's the start. Get the impulse this hit. Plus that, that's the end. This there, this there, that there, that there. Da 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 da. Duration. Uh, three seconds. Line red. Thickness, big. Uh, Max, it would be good to have a chat about the rig plus skin of the creature. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Um, I might have time after the stream if I'm not too buggerized, but I'll be around all tomorrow. Um, do you still get Mondays off? Good to get a demo on it before I do the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fridays, okay. So you're a long a long weekender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we can... It doesn't... I'm f free all the time. So, yeah. Um, it should be fine. What the fuck? Okay, interesting. Maybe this would be fine. Yeah, that looks like it's saying that it's a th Yeah, that, that'll do. That should do. Hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I was thinking about the, uh, the fur and stuff. Um, the fur wheel kind of, I mean, I know it can't be done last but um the hmm. how do i did i did i link you that video that i was showing you about the uh short hair with hair tools Oh, also, did I send you hair tools? I think... I can't remember if I did. Also, I can't remember if the license was for... Um... Studio or not. I don't know if you already bought it, but... Um... I think I... What's it mean for business? What does that cover? Business versus individual license. If you're a company with above $100,000 income, you are business otherwise you buy individual license but is that a one per thing i mean it's on gum road so it's kind of hard. oh you've got it okay yep yep yep, yep, yep. cool cool um yeah the demo with the dog exactly yeah for a second i thought you meant the demo that i did with the with the whatever the fuck it was um some kind of <laughs> I think I did use a, a dog as a, a template I can't remember oh this thing yeah <laughs> whatever this was <laughs> yeah 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 um but yeah so the the tool's really good um, I might even just open it up now, see if Blender still works. <laughs> I haven't opened Blender in like a solid two months, I reckon. Uh, modeling creatures, base meshes. Alligator base mesh. Fuck yeah. Oh, uh, is that mana? Sick. So, 
Uh, I forget how it works. <laughs> how does... Uh, I forget how Blender works, full stop. Um, so it would be in Hair Tools. Hair Tool... Uh, uh, is it in object mode? Set up short hair. Hey, here it is. Okay, hold on. Um, yeah, yeah, the docs are good. Are, are you? There's a Discord server as well that's like really active with all of the um that dude's plugins and stuff. Where's like the short hair setup shit? Hair nodes, hair operators, setup short hair. I can't remember how any of this works. Ah, oh, here we go. Setup short hair. Um. So yeah, so so when we do it, we don't want to do remeshing. We want to use original topology. So this will just uh Is it in modifiers? No. Oh, hair guide root. Is it in sculpt mode? <laughs> I feel like it's in like particle thingo. Wherever that is. Particle properties. Or maybe after I've done this, I then put it in object mode and. Oops, I didn't want to save that. That's fine. Hair guide, short hair. I'm pretty sure I do it in sculpt mode. And it... What's F? Okay, yeah, here we go. So, yeah, we lengthen the hair doodads. Using a tool. Draw tool. Oh, I know there's, like, a better way to do it. But, yeah, you, you kind of do it in sculpt mode. And this is, like, the hair net. And you can also, like, exclude the... These ones. Because we kind of only want the ones that are going this way. Um, and then, wherever the smear tool is, grab snake hook thumb, is it? Or maybe it's in, like, particle mode. I don't know. I can't remember. Can you tell? Oh, nudge is what I was looking for. So yeah, you can basically sculpt it into like fur cards. It's got it's got like its own dedicated tool, but yeah. Um, so like that's essentially what they'd end up looking like, but obviously not as big. But yeah, this way we get the um, the. It's kind of just like doubling the poly count. Because it doesn't have to be that dense. Like the hair stuff. And yeah, like the... Yeah. Because if you just make them longer, it looks denser. And obviously with the, uh, with the cell shader, a lot of it is, like, not really, like, you're not going to see these gaps as much. It's more just about the silhouette, almost. Um. So, yeah. Very cool tool. But, yeah, for, for the rigging, um, I guess we kind of have to, I mean, we've already got base skeletons from those free assets the base meshes and stuff then i guess it's just yeah about skinning them um but then with the fur so when when we make the fur um 
the creature should already be UV'd. And then the fur, when we generate the fur, we don't want to touch the UVs. Because we want the UV of the fur and the thing that it was that it was coming from. We want them to share the exact same UV space. Because then when we like damage something, we can then get rid of the fur. Like, you know, when it's like got injuries and stuff. Or if it's like mangy or whatever, it'll like actually get rid of the the fur card when the you know the bit gets fucked up um and then in terms of actually skinning the fur it'll just be like a data transfer so once the the bold well yeah i, I guess if we if we make the fur uh, like a separate object or I mean I, I guess it's already selectable as a separate object thing um, but then we just do a data transfer from the naked creature to the fur and that should just cover it and I'm pretty sure in terms of vertex painting it, it automatically does root to tip stuff so that's fine because i was also thinking like we could do some cool um like when a creature gets frightened or whatever we can make its fur puff up by just like expanding the uh the hair cards in like along their vertex normals Kind of like you would with, like, grass, almost. But, yeah, that would that'd be pretty cool as well. I mean, I don't know about this creature specifically, because I imagine it's... I imagine it being, like, more short-haired, like a, like a jackal. Um, so, I mean, we might even use, like, a, a, a shell... A shell for... For this one, but... I don't know. We could do, like, some variations of it, like a... A desert version and like a you know a snowy snowy version that's like got more fur and that kind of thing um so i guess we'll just stick around with it really Yeah, but yeah, we'll we'll have a meeting tomorrow about it and um and figure it out. And it should be all all gravy, all grooving. But yeah, I'm excited to like get something non-human in the game. So this should now tell us oh, this poor short fella. Oh. Can you just get taller? Okay, okay that, not that tall. Uh, this should be fine though. Good testing. All right, so. was a uh... I can't fucking tell hold on what was the button again oh so this should be a swing swing pelvis front okay cool what about another one 
That's another swing. Yep. How can I make it, like, thrust? Oh, God. He did not like it. <laughs> that was not a thrust. I mean, that was a thrust. Yeah, cool. Ow, don't step on the swords. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Fuck. <laughs> Does that mean I can... Oh, shit. Just, um... Just regular, like, toss this and it will... <laughs> it's funny as... Oh, no. It's a small fella. It's a, uh, it's a fairy. It's not a very small child. It's a fairy. It's a forest spirit. Just happens to look like a person. All right, let's test the throwing. Fuck's sake. Toss there. No, what? Toss there. Target's too small. There we go. Right, so if we just toss an item. Oh, not past him. Towards him, you shit. Oh my god. Here, throw. Oh, let's throw it up here. Why? What? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, is it colliding with our hand, maybe? Well, oh, that was a throw. That was a throw, not a toss. There's a difference. Are you fucking with me? How? What if I just do it here? Oh, now it wants to work. Oh. What the fuck? Where is this even, like, pointing? Oh, is it because it's out of... Bounds? Like, out of distance? Oh. Meant to... No, that was fine. Toss. Okay, so that does work. That's good. That one didn't, so that's fine. Yep. Cool. Alright, so the items physics stuff does work. Which is good. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to test was um, when it lands on the ground. No, not there. Here. Can't even hear it. Hold on. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it still makes the sword sound, but it doesn't clang as much. Except when it hits another one, apparently. <laughs> I didn't realize it could do that. Nice. Um, let's just go to the... Weapon... Material. 
weapon, mega material. And we're going to give you fizz material. Fuck, what's your default material? Let's just say metal. Well, actually, no, let's say wood. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Solid. Very solid. That's real good. So good. <laughs> oh, classic. Physics goes brr. Exactly. Actually, I could just do that here, couldn't I? And then... Okay, we need more. We need to go deeper. What do you guys reckon? Stepping on swords, dealing damage? Yes, no. Probably not. <laughs> Although I don't know how to prevent it. Because, like... It's kind of impossible to prevent because... They have to collide with the... With the thing, you know, like that, but then that means that it will move them, which means that if I kick it around, oh my god, stop glitching, ow, ow, which means if I kick them around, then they'll get faster, so I can't just use like a velocity threshold. You know what I mean? <laughs> Look at our feet. <laughs> A little bit of rough terrain. <laughs> feet picks. Mm hmm. I was, I was think, I've been thinking, right? How much gore do we want in the game? And should I put a really low poly, like, skeleton inside our character? <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I really, <laughs> I really need to do some kind of damage threshold for this. Because it's a little bit. All right, hold on. Speedrun strats, right? So the current meta with, okay, this is really loud. Current meta is... You have to gather up a bunch of weapons. <laughs> and then, what is this? Oh, that's that, that other material. It was brutal. Yeah, it was a little bit, it was a bit dangerous. Oh, fuck. Uh, why did this start moving this way? I oh, fuck, I got stuck in it. What the Whoops. Ow. Damn it. Oh, wait, is that because it hit the wood part? Well, it's not the wood part. Definitely. Hold on. If I hit the wood part, though. Interesting. Oh, these guys are healing up. So these guys just have the default... Um, default finger. Render target. Well, they do not look happy, do they? Is the game going to have Easter eggs? No, I don't believe in Easter. No, of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. The game is an Easter egg. Wait, can these still do hit events if they're attached to something? Like, can I still get damaged by the sword if it's in something? That could be kind of overpowered. Hold on. Let me in. Let me in. No, it doesn't look like it. That's fine. Should make you in the game as a background character? Yeah, maybe. I mean, it wouldn't be hard. It's just generic. Generic guy with blonde hair. See if we can crash it. Sorry if it's loud. Here we go. Whoa, excuse me. All right, hold on. All right, you ready?
Yes! Damage boost. Nice one. Speedrun strat. Character looks fine. Anyway, what what was I doing again? I feel like I kind of feel like I've hit the wall. We did the object stuff. We wrote the big list about the devlog. Um, the other thing was um uh, a new to do list. I feel like my brain just hmm. day of rest. That's on the to do list. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Prof, uh, property access now. Uh. Uh -huh. Is anyone else streaming at the moment? Also, Jay, hello. Hello, hello. Guy with the towel on his head all the time. Yeah. That's me. Actually, I, I blow dried my hair before the stream. After I had a towel on it. Idiot. <laughs> Why do I find that so funny? was a child. No, it wasn't. It was just a small, small person. Children don't exist in this world. Everyone's born as someone that can be injured uh, without getting a 18 restricted rating, you know. It's lit. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. Oh god, that's so, that is so small. <laughs> oh my god, how did that feel? Hmm. Was it the elf ears? Uh just testing jiggle physics. But we'll probably have characters with big ears because it's, you know, just it's just a solid aesthetic, you know. Oh my god, they're all angry at me. Wait, are they gonna No, they won't fight me. Oh, that's another thing I need to do is um, our collisions manager. Yeah. Uh. 
Maybe we're going to be thinking too much of a hassle. Um. Uh. Whenever Sov releases his plugin for procedural dismemberment, then we can think about it. Let's do tomorrow's to-do list. Or just our next to-do list. Because I'll probably do it tonight. Uh. Alright, we wrote our feature list. Item physics collision stuff we did. Um, we're doing number three right now. Day of rest. Mm, don't know about day of rest. Uh, Daniel Sevem. Hello, hello. Hello, guys. I'm new here in Twitch. Do you mean Twitch in general or just to this stream? Uh, did you finish the steamrolling physics? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, uh, let me demonstrate. How much does this weigh? Mass, 100 kilos. All right, let's see. <laughs> Interesting. I wonder why they didn't get completely <laughs> steamrolled. Well, actually, how much do they weigh is the question. Let's put that up to what? Actually, yeah, 100 kilos isn't much, is it? <laughs> there we go. Oh. <laughs> that poor dude. Yeah, so. Pretty good. Uh, is it possible to make so the swords get stuck in a body has to be pulled back the way it came. Uh, it would be possible, but it would require either some really complex IK stuff or like physical shit, which I kind of want to do as little as possible. Um, Cause like, yeah, physical simulation, not a good time. Oh, 
Ooh, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Wouldn't be very funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, we might do, um, you know, weapons getting stuck, but, like, you know, you, you lose the weapon. Or, like, you know, like, uh, let's say we smack real hard with a spear and it gets stuck in a shield, then, and, you know, if, if we don't have... If we're low on stamina, then maybe we get disarmed by the um, the weapon, you know, getting lodged in either the person or their shield or the something. And then we have to, you know, defeat them and pick it back up. But it, it would always be... Um, a penalty for your own mistake, you know? <laughs> I need to do the, uh, the ragdoll physics again. Ragdoll physics damage, sorry. Uh, I don't know, what is give cat, pet from me, don't know that, sorry. Uh, I, so a cat is one of these things like a kitty cat <laughs> uh, and i usually have some sitting here but they're not here at the moment they're outside so um yeah and like padding is like stroking them stroke the cat you know Uh, do you play what is that game? I rate it. Plus, uh, this is uh, Prismatica, which is a game that we're making. We're making it from scratch. <laughs> oh, Jay, I also saw you were playing Plague Tale. What are your uh, thoughts so far? I've watched someone play the whole thing, but are you enjoying it? Loving it? Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I, I liked it as well. Well, at least watching it. I haven't played it myself, but it was, yeah, it was pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool. I love all the, um, like, set design and stuff. Like, just the overall aesthetic. Or just, like, kind of like the world building. Like, I, I didn't um, see any of the first one, but from what I gathered from the second one, it's, like, yeah, very... Um, it's very grounded, but it's also got that, like, supernatural element. But it's not like, you know, it's not like pow, magic, pow, magic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. They use, um, Quixel Mega Scans for all of their, uh, what's it called? Like nature assets and whatnot. So like you could say that this game is like basically Plague Tale. Because we, you know, both, both use Mega Scans. Mm -hmm. 
Use crucible for prismatic. Yeah, yeah. So like um, these quarry assets um are from Quixel, but obviously I've you know stripped them back a bit. Where's like the big one? I can't remember. Oh, there's a big one. Nice. Yeah, very nice looking. The only thing I don't like about the Quixel ones is that they don't have backs. <laughs> um, so, I mean, for like cliffs and stuff, it doesn't matter because like usually you're putting cliffs up against landscape slopes. But, yeah. Hmm. Also, I don't know why this is such a different color now. I think I've changed the color of the bluestone rock for like a billion times. Giga Mountain. Yeah. Wow, scenic zoom in shot. Technically not zooming in. It's uh pushing. Pushing in? Push pull. Push, pull, zoom, zoom, tracking, panning, something, something. God, this game looks awesome. Doesn't this game look great? Doesn't this game look great? <laughs> Classic. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Ooh. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Um, I was going to write the to-do list again. Right, right, right. So, this will be tomorrow's to-do. Um, I mean, I need to film the devlog at some point. 
I need to release it on the 31st to fulfill obligations. Unless I just do another video for the 31st, and then this one can be my video on the 15th, 16th of the next month. Because I still need to do the uh, vertex paint, runtime vertex paint explanation plugin thingo. Um. Hmm. Because, like, I, I kind of want the next devlog to be less, like, super in-depth technical and, like, a little bit leaning more towards, like, people that might be interested in the game. So more of just, like, a feature showcase rather than a feature showcase with extended in-depth ramble about how it works step by step. Yeah, and not not like every feature, but just like the ones since the last devlog. So basically all of the... Anything related to physics. <laughs> anything related to inventory. Anything related to... something something else there's fuck it there's heaps Ugh. um so what so what what's what do i need to do right to do list. that's gonna be tomorrow's job right to do list fantastic i can handle that Right? I can probably handle it. Probably. 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 I don't know. I should probably also give characters hair. Because they've been bald for ages. And like I have some some mock-up hair models to yeet on them. I just don't know how I'm going to... I guess it all comes from the info component, doesn't it? Like the default size and proportions. Um, the skin tone. Any Anything that's like the character but not something that they wear, like not equipment. So yeah, like hair, hair color, the hair texture will all be stored on that component. And then the uh, scaly mesh merging handler will just pull info from that every time we re rebake the, the mesh with like the new equipment and shit. Yeah. Uh, bold phobia? Hell yeah. I'm scared of going bold. <laughs> I should probably make some dinner. It's been, it's it's 10 p.m. I can't remember what I last ate. I think it was toast. Toast, toast is a good meal, isn't it? Pretty solid. I have a splinter in my. What? Hmm. Vaseline on toast. What the fuck? What the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck?
<laughs> you know, to wrap up today, we're going to play a video game. Going to play a video game. Which we rarely do, but... Shuma Cabra. Sad Mr. Bulk of the Stream. That's all good. It'll be on the VODs channel at some point. So don't stress. That's a bit loud. Alright, let's do a speed run of Noita. <laughs> Get some money. Ooh. Nice. Digging. Uh, uh, uh. Nice. What do we got here? Teleportatium. Is it teleportatium or teleportation? That's what I want to know. Can that just like... Hey, nice. I need to cover myself in water so I don't get set on fire. Get this. Uh, ooh, Berserkium. Actually, that's a tank of Berserkium. Let's empty out our water potion. Ooh, hello. Hello, naughty friend. <laughs> cool. <laughs> that's a lot of acid. Uh, don't touch it. Oh! Nice. And then we're going to dump this polymorphine potion. Because it just turns everything to sheep. Sheeple. And then... Oop. Nice. All right, then we're going to go this way. Back to where that berserkium tank was. If it hasn't burnt down, don't have burnt down. Oh, uh, it burnt down. Shit. All right, interesting. Well, we can at least get this heart. Uh, I could probably skim it. Oh, uh, actually, you know what? This is enough here. Also, if anyone in the chat hasn't played this game, Play this game. <laughs> this is the best game. Yeah, that's it. It's the best game. All right, let's fill up. Oh, don't get any swamp in there. Oh, I got... Am I going to get sick if I eat that now? Oh, yeah, I just threw up. Oops. Uh, just make sure we don't get any bad shit. Alright, we can drop this big bomb. With Berserkium Potion. Cool. Oh. Alright, damage. And hopefully we can get a bit of gold. Because we're not very rich right now. Not rich at all. This game ain't got shit on Prismatic. Uh, I mean... Prismatic is not much of a game, is it? <laughs> uh, it's called Noita. Noita. N-O-I-T-A. You can tell that Prismatic is very inspired by this game. But, like, not even joking. <laughs> All right, into Holy Mountain. Decent. 
pinpointer. That's nice. Let's get this black hole. Let's get this discount Lumi drill. And this triple shot. Oh, shit. Come back. Triple scatter. And put that there. So now we're shooting double. Um, that can't fit on that. That's fine. That's fine. Kick it onto him. Oh, nice. Solid trick kill. Double money. Mm -hmm. Another wand. Ooh. It's got my favorite spell on it. Nice. I mean, like, this spell kind of sucks, but, like, it feels good to use. Like, the sound effect and the visual. It's got, like, a really soft sound to it. You know? Soft little thud. Ooh, shit. All right, hold on. I got some good stuff on the go. Oop. I'll just waste all those bombs. Get this. See if we can find any gold in this mess. Nope. There's some. Do do. But yeah, I really like in this game the um stain system so like if i walk through slime i get slimed and it slows me down but it makes me more fire retardant but then water has the fire resistant but not um uh what's it called doesn't slow you down but you're more electrically conductive. And like oil is... Oh, what's... Oh, that's just a barrel. Yeah, it's just... Oh, it's such a good game. And just like the way that all the spells are like completely modular, like... um. For example, let me just. Ooh, nice. Speed up. Nothing good here. Electricity immunity. Okay. Okay. So now we've got electric charge. May as well get lightning bolt. And then we've got enough money for. We don't need two speed ups, do we? Hmm, I don't know. So we could put that on them. Because we've got, yeah, you know, we'll get two speed ups. Um, then we can get black hole, black hole double speed up, but that's, that's not a, that's a shuffle wand. So then we could lightning bolt here. That's fine. Uh, maybe I'll save that. We're we're going into snowy depths, so yeah, we could just do this. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, oops! Oh shit! Oh shit! Don't stop it! Oh my god! We're fucked. <laughs> Took a lot of damage. Ooh. Hello, fishies. 
I really need a faster wand if I'm gonna be doing this. Mm -hmm. Oop. Oop. Got him. All right, can we get? Oh my god, that's fast. I could. Uh, could I win the game? Maybe. Because you can kind of just skip big areas if you've got black holes. I mean, they'll come in handy at the very end. Oh shit. That's a big worm tunnel. Can I kick that? In? Oh, shit. Okay, let's get out. Please. That was not good. <laughs> that could have been the end. Right, we didn't get anything good. Uh, could I use that? No. Oh, could I? No. What about that? No. Hmm. All right, let's think. That has a good cast delay time. It's plus 12. We could just, like... Have a kind of shooter like this. It's a little bit whack. Chuck another one of these in. Oh, I could even do like a triple cast. Well, actually, if I only use these, it's very inconsistent because it's a shuffle wand. But, you know, you, you win some, you lose some. And then I could put this on here. Uh, oh, actually, I could put that on there to speed it up. Cool. Yeah, nice. All right. So we've got a shooter, we've got a banger, and we've got black hole. And then we've got some some of that. We've also got berserky and potions, so we're in a good spot. Got to watch out for those gas cylinders, though. They just one-shot you. <laughs> but they also one-shot everyone else. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Don't get out of the gas. Shit. Shit. Oh, fuck you. There we go. Nice. Uh, give me the money. Oh. Nice. All right, we're in a we're in a good a lucrative position. We could just black hole down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ah! 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 <laughs> nice. Whoop. Bang, bang. Uh. Oh, teleport juice. Thank you. All right, now if we go this way. I don't have explosion immunity, though. It's fine, it's fine. Oh. 
Oh, I've still got um these. Uh huh. Oh shit. Ooh, nice. Cool, cool. Cool and groovy. Could just use that to, yeah, blow some stuff up. Whoop. Bang, bang. All right, let's black hole that way. There's a chest there. That's shit. <laughs> a wand with... Ooh. Okay, now we're talking. This is Noita, frankly. It's a rogue-like physics... Physically simulated pixel game. Uh, Noita with an A instead of ER. Oh, that would be good. Yeah, yeah. Not, not my game. We, we finished developing for the day. So now we're just uh, winding down, I guess. <laughs> oh, shit! All right, I need to not be on fire. Sweet. Could I? I could just do that, couldn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, in we go. All right, so now we have a... R oh... Short range homing, best spell. Alright, we're in a we're in a good spot. And fire immunity. Alright, so we've got this ripper wand. Uh we could do bounce. Let's get rid of them. Get rid of that and that and that. Now let's go. All of our little doodads, spark bolts, all at once. So we're shooting five of them. Then we give it electric charge modifier. So now they all deal three extra uh, elect electrical damage. Then we give it the faster shot. Oh, actually, would that work at the end? No. We're going to put that there. Um, we could chuck on a Lumi drill to speed it up again. Oh, okay. How much is that? That's 10 mana. Interesting. That's 12. Uh, wait, hold on. What's quicker, that there or that there? Okay, no, this is quicker and cheaper. Uh, and then we could put speed up on it. It looks like we're already going max speed, though. Yeah, we are. Right, so we could put bounce on it. And then they're going to, yeah. Well, actually, no, I was going to get the short range homing modifier. So now we, like, can't miss with it. Yeah. And bounce. Oh, this is... This is busted. Um, That costs five mana. That costs one. So we could just use two of these instead of one of them. Right? Yeah. And that costs two. Use that. That works. Cool. 
And we have electricity immunity. So yeah, we're we're pretty good. And a little a little bit of advanced Noita tech, right? So these have a five percent crit chance. So which a critical deals double damage. But when you fire them all simultaneously by using the, you know, the multi spell shooter, uh, it stacks. So this is like a 25% critical chance. Very pog. Uh, and we'll also move the black hole here so that it always has the speed up on it. Oh yeah, we're we are gonna ruin everyone. Cool. Uh, right, let's put that as our main. That is our secondary. Yeah, banger. Shouldn't really need it though. And then we've got black holes. Yeah, we're good to go. Look at that. Oh, more modifiers. Maybe we could go for the dragon? Dragon kill? Maybe we just... Uh, oh, wait, we've got a Berserkian potion as well. Oh. Cash money. What have you got? Always cast Lightning Thrower. Ooh. Fuggles. If I had Explosion Immunity, I could use that. You know what? Just for the meme. Let's take it. And I'll show you what we can do with it. <laughs> We can do some real dumb stuff. Oh, we've got fire immunity. Why have I been avoiding fire? Oops, wrong button. We just need more mana. Maybe I will go for the dragon. Dragon kill. Which is like an optional, like, mini boss kind of thing. But it always drops a good wand. Because, yeah, I do have the Berserkian potions. Which can, like, double damage. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my nose is itchy. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Ooh. Sheesh. Nice. Oh, not good. Can I eat that over? Hey, it hit him. All right, down we go. Actually, I can shoot over. I love the bouncing, bouncing spells modifier with the short range homing, because then, like, if you miss, it'll bounce and still manage to get something. It's like, hell yeah. So many good synergies. That's what that's what I love about this game is the the synergies. Like there's so many modifiers and different spells and like every time you play through, you end up creating some like busted synergy. Oh. 
I don't know about dragon. I totally could though. So many changes a lot since I was <laughs> good one. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it's 2D now. Unreal does 2D now. I mean, it always does. But All right, let's... Let me get fast as well and then drink up. Don't vomit. Yep, okay. Okay, we're probably going to die, but... It'll be fun. Oh, we do shit damage. Okay, we're fucked. We're, like, actually fucked. Oh, I mean, I could... Oh, escape. No! Oh. <laughs> Why? I, I knew I shouldn't have. I should have just run out of there. Uh, it's called Noita. Noita. There's the, the title screen. All right, speed run time. Let's just get a win and then go to bed. Well, not go to bed. I need to eat food. Yeah, you, it, it's probably my favorite game, full stop. Mainly because it, it just reminds me of, um, do you guys remember, well, does anyone remember, like, those powder, powder toy games? Where, like, yeah, it's all pixel, pixel marching, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's, that's what this entire game is. It's all, um, you know, every pixel is like a physical thing. Yeah, damn ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, the, the Dan Ball one is like the OG, um, the OG powder toy or like the, re the real one. Um, cause like, I remember like in school there were kids like, Oh, check out this like game. It's like, you know, the, the powder game, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, yeah, sweet. But, like, it was, like, some some budget version of it. I was like, bruh, that ain't it. That's, like, a scuffed rip-off version of Dan Ball's version. <laughs> I wonder if that still exists. I mean, it, surely it would because... Uh, I don't know if it would play, though, because it was... F oh, no, you ran on Java, didn't it? I was thinking, was it like a Flash game? But no, it was, a, it was Java. Because I remember being like, oh, this and RuneScape run on the exact same, you know, thingo. Uh, no, this is someone else's game. Um, we're just, we've, we've finished our uh, programming for the day and we're just having a bit of a relax. But if you do want to learn about our project, um, you can check out the YouTube channel, hashtag YouTube, or hashtag YT. But yeah, our game is completely different, but kind of similar. It's got a similar, uh, what would you say? Like, there's nothing similar between the games, like, aesthetically or gameplay-wise, aside from they both have combat. <laughs> 
Um, but like the, the kind of simulation aspect, I guess. You know, I'm, I'm a big fan of. Like emergent, emergent, oh shit, gameplay through physics and stuff. That's got a speed mod. Oh, that's a pretty good wand. Apparently it had a faster recharge speed. Oh, we've got a bit of dosh. Can I get 20 more gold? Yes. There we go. Uh, the music is Legend of Zelda. Um, it's a YouTube playlist, but I forget what it's actually called. I think it's called like Beautiful Zelda Music for Relaxing with Campfire Ambience or something really long. Does that? Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah, that's not going to... What if I do that first? Ah, there we go. Now we're talking. What if that goes first and then... Nah, so if we do this, then we can spew. Oh, unless I did less of them. Why is it when I only have... Oh, no, I have to have more. Nah, so we may as well do this then. Cool. There's so many, like, exploits in this game as well for, like, ways that you can kind of break wands to shoot super fast. It's good. Oops. Give me some water. I need water. There we go. Oh, wait. I didn't pick up the, um, the health. I was thinking there would be a glass cannon, possibly. Whoops. Am I going to be able to make it up there? Yeah, I should. Can I do this? Nice. Beautiful. Are you going to blow up? Ah, uh, screw you. Oh. Can I kick the ice into him? Drop the ice on him? Oh, come on. Don't be like that. Oh, blow that up. Yeah, double gold. All right, I'm feeling this run. I'm feeling this one. We got this one in the bag. I know I said that last time, but then I got cocky and tried to... Kill that mini boss that I definitely wasn't ready for. Little puzzle. Uh, I think that's just water. Or is it blood? I think it's just water, actually. So I need to find some water.
and deliver it. Okay, so. Oh. Big worm. Drink the worm blood, see in the dark. Very good. All right. Give me water. Fill up this bottle. Remember to breathe. Nice. All right, now we fill this up with water. I think the playlist just ended. Don't tell me I, oh, I need more. Let me put the music in this game up then. Oh, there's water right here. <laughs> I don't need... Oh, yeah, no, there it is. Always cast piercing shot. Oh, shit. That's actually just good in general. All right, let's go next, next area. May as well keep them. Ball lightning. Okay, so. Uh, we could re-roll, but Hungry Ghost is pretty good. That'll save our ass at some point. So this, I'm thinking we could do this. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, and if we put a chainsaw in with it. Fuck. Look at that. Cool. What about... Hmm. get a little stream at the end. <laughs> oh, and a black hole. Black hole is good. Let's put you on that. Oh, can't. That goes in there, then. Right. Cool. Wait, do they? Oh, 
Oh, I didn't know they stick around. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, oh no, they deal less that Oh, I fucked it. I really cocked this up then. Because the piercing shot makes them deal less damage. Okay, well, at least... Oh, shit. Alright. Uh, at least it has a chainsaw on it. <laughs> but yeah, this isn't actually going to deal any damage. I mean, we have bombs. That's something. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Alright, alright, hold on. Bomb. Just... Oh, that's not even gonna... Ah, we're in trouble. Yeah, this doesn't deal any damage. <laughs> no. <laughs> alright. At least we've got a chainsaw at the start of it. Oh! Not good. Oh, shit. I don't even know why I'm attacking. Alright, we're gonna have to dig. Ah! Oh. That was dumb. Alright. Well. Well. <laughs> well. Uh, thanks everyone for hanging out with the... the... Prismatica development. Um, hope you enjoyed that little... You know, a little bit of, little bit of fun. Ooh, we have fun sometimes. At the end, I had fun. <laughs> I hope you had fun too. Um, as always, if you're not subscribed to the you, the bot's dead. Does anyone in the chat? Uh, I might, I might ask a kudo to. To do a Twitch overhaul. Because he seems savvy with, like, things. I'm like a complete, like, pleb when it comes to anything. Um, but anyway, you guys know the drill. Um, oh, wait, I think it's running now. Hey, YouTube channel. Discord, and last but not least, if you do want to support development of the game, um, you want to support development of the game and the, the YouTube channel, it, basically, if you want to support me, the best way to do so is through the Patreon for as little as $1 per month. It all adds up. It's all very appreciated. Thank you to the existing patrons. You guys keep me alive. Please don't leave me. Um... You pin, you, you pint. Hello, do you do portfolio reviews? I'm applying for internships, but I don't know what I'm doing, and it's terrifying. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing either. Um, and even though I am a full-time games developer slash 3D generalist slash internet personality, you could say. Um, I've never worked in the industry i've always worked outside of the industry uh, so i probably don't know what someone's looking for in terms of you know employment and that kind of stuff um however if you join our discord server there might be some people willing to you know look through depending on is it like a code portfolio or is it for, you know, art, art stuff? Um, yeah, there might be some people in our Discord server that would give you some advice. Um, I can also give advice, but, you know, I'm, I'm just some dude in front of a camera. Um, let's see who is online. Mm 
<laughs> I guess we raid Amber then. <laughs> uh, will there be other Patreon stuff like Plant Your Entry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need, I need to do like a big Patreon overhaul as well. Um, because, yeah, like I can definitely update um a lot of the the roles and stuff, and even do like some exclusive one-on-one -on -one, uh you know optimization sessions or something you know once every so often for like the for the big backers you know give them some some more back if they you know obviously if they want to i know a lot of people don't expect anything in return um but yeah i i think i'll do like a big overhaul at some point of the the rewards because they're all essentially just, you get a shout out at the end of the fucking video. So, um, yeah, yeah. I'm late. You are late. You are late. Well, yeah, we're wrapping up. Uh, but, but, oh, we played Noita just before. So you missed that. Could have, could have had a sesh together. Maybe if I'm still awake in like an hour's time, we'll 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 noit it up. Um, yeah. Bad luck. Bad luck. <laughs> also, I was just talking about you before, Akudo. Do you know anything about like Twitch bots and like Streamlabs and that kind of stuff? Like setting up more like. I mean, like, I know Streamlabs just, like, does heaps of shit. Um, but I'm thinking just, like, things like, you know, every now and then a thing pops up that says, like, you know, don't forget to fucking give Charlie money through the Patreon, you know, blah, blah, blah. Or, like, uh, you know, if you've got a Prime, Twitch Prime thing, you know, fucking whatever, whatever. And just, like, overhauling the bot to, like, have more commands and just just to be able to, like, you know, exclamation mark, add command, blah, 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 quote, do the thing. So, I don't know, just shit like that. Dream of seven years? Awesome. Awesome. Because, yeah, I might, I might hit you up about that um, just to, I don't know, give it a facelift because, you know. I've got a bit of a smooth, smooth brain. Uh, didn't go for, uh, discuss some OBS, OA stuff, but it's nice, nice, nice. Yeah, pog, pog, pog. I also want to do as like a little side project at some point, like what Sov did with the, the Twitch Battle Royale, but like obviously with Prismatica, whatever. Um, but then also have like some progression like in it so it's like um uh you know you can use your channel points to give your character like more armor and shit you know or like a different weapon or and then obviously yeah your character just they all just like you know ai together but um yeah, to, like, give it some... I, I feel like it would make the streams a bit more involved. And obviously, like, we, we do one whenever I, like, take a break or something. And everyone can, you know, exclamation mark, join. Or, like, um, redeem channel points for, you know, give my character, you know, up upgrade my character's weapon or something. Although, can you just, like, can you just award channel points to people on Twitch? Or do they have to generate naturally or through predictions? Okay. Interesting. I mean, maybe maybe we could do, like, a, uh, a separate currency then. A 
or or actually no okay here we go here we go so a separate currency called prismatica battle royale coins but then you can exchange your channel points for the battle royale points yeah or or you get the points from you know winning the battle royale So that way, yeah, there can be, like, people don't have to have heaps of channel points and shit. No streamer who did it with his own custom coins and bot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like, I see a lot of that where, like, yeah, there's a separate, separate currency for the, um, the mini games and stuff like that. Yeah, that would be fun. That, that would be, like, actually good fun. <laughs> I think once I have, like, a squad AI... Or like, you know, group AI combat stuff kind of handle. Then it would be time to like, you know, maybe take a few days to just do something dumb like that. Because uh, it, it would actually be a good test of all of the systems. Like, um, you know, saving and loading characters. Because like, obviously every person would have a different character and that kind of shit. Um, that would be, like, persistent, stored somewhere. Well, it'd be stored on my machine, but it would just use their username with the Twitch integration plugin to, like, load them whenever they join and shit. Oh, that'd be awesome. That'd be so good. <laughs> and then what we do... Then what we do... We package it. We package it. And we we sell it, or or we just like distribute it to like streamers and be like, hey, there's this new like fun stream game that you just like boot up and you know you fucking it just hooks into the Twitch and whatever, and it's called like Prismatica Stream Royale or some shit, and it's just like free advertising for us, you know. Huge brain. That could be fun. That could be fun. That could be fun. Put NFTs into it. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, it's it's play to earn. It's play to earn, bruh. It's a play to earn Twitch Battle Royale minigame. I like it. I like it. Oh, and we could make it super pay to win by giving the patrons extra bonuses, you know? If you win, your machine will be used to mine Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when your character dies at NFT. Yeah, it's per permadeath. We, uh, we lock it away on the blockchain. I don't know how that works. I guess you can destroy, um, you can destroy currency, like cryptocurrency, can't you? Because if it's in a wallet and you, I guess, like, change the login to something completely random or some shit, like, you know, throw away the key, then it can never be accessed again, right? Interesting. Anyway, I know nothing about... I know nothing about blockchain. It's probably a good thing. Uh, the only the only NFTs I'm interested in are... These ones. These sweet, sweet, premium Prismatica TM... NFTs. Can I make the, the thumbnails bigger? Oh, they already are. Look at all these sweet NFTs. What the fuck is this? 
It doesn't make any... None of these make any sense. Like, what is this? Actually, I know what that is. That's the camera system. Anyway, um... Am I bleeding? No. It's art. That's right. That's right. It's art. It is art. Blockchains and engine wasting. Yeah, I mean, I, I even... I don't understand the use for it, if there even is one, other than, like, you know, being able to scam people. <laughs> but for that, it's pretty good. Because it's like unregulated. Ooh. So we can kind of do whatever the fuck we want, except like. Except you can't. Because people are starting to get done for it. Anyway, uh, we are going to raid Amber, who is working in Unreal Engine 5, but. Without the third dimension. It's just two dimensions. It's very interesting. So if you've ever wondered about 2D stuff. Um, like true 2D. Not like 2D sprites in a 3D world. Then. Uh, yeah. Stick around. But with that. We say. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>